Welcome, Wanderers, to Whittle Walsh's Workshop. We're here on Whittle Walsh's Workshop. We'll whittle you some windows. Guess what, Wanderers? We're putting in windows. So what we got going on here is, here's a little demonstration of how this thing works. This, of course, is the, uh, again, the Chuck Cassidy style. So I've got a frame here for these windows. Now this is a uh, three and a half, this is a three and a half inch piece of cherry one by that I had salvaged off of a job site. So I've got a couple windows in, which I'll go in here and show you in a second, but I'm leaving it proud by that half inch. So when I sheet the walls, they, the plywood will come right to there and then I can maybe trim, clean these up a little bit and trim them. But the way this works is <clears throat> the RV window has a flange on it right here. It has a flange on it like right here, okay? That's the, the mounting flange, okay? And when, you, when it mounts on here like that, I've only got about an inch, three quarters of an inch right there. So that's why we put this furring strip on here, which is about, this is three quarters, but with the, with the um, gasket and the sheet metal, it works out to be about an inch. So let's just say this is the outside of the bus, right? So there's the inside and here's the outside. And of course there'll be metal on here. So we take, we take our window and it fits right in here. Okay. Window fits right in there. And then let's say we're rolling it over. It's hard to do it the same time. Okay, rolls over. And then this trim gasket gets screwed on right there to hold it all together. Pinches it in. So let me just show you the finished product. So there's the finished product right there. These are the, these right here are the windows for the boys bunk beds. Okay, so they'll each get a little porthole window to look out and it has a nice little screen and like a little slider in it so that hopefully they can get some air in there. So, what we, what we gotta do is find out where it goes and then I cut the strapping out and I cut the foam out to fit the box I nail this in boom boom and I set I I what I was doing was I was drilling two pilot holes here and here and here and here and here and here and that gives me the side then I'll take the trim ring and I'll go outside and I'll put it on those pilot holes and I'll scribe the circle and I cut that metal out with the grinder. And then I pull this in and I put it in and screw it off. And it works out really slick. Just like that. So stay tuned. Okay, wanderers. So this will be this is the kitchen counter right here. And we're gonna have that one of those little two foot by one foot windows that go right there. So what I did was I measured down two and a half inches from this, this um, metal piece of hat up there, whatever that thing was, that is the same, is the same as those down there. So I measured that down and then I cut the strapping out for the window frame. So I cut that strapping out. I scribed all the way around it to cut out the foam. And then I'll just cut the foam out and then I'll place the frame back in there and I'll shoot it off to the ends of these right here with a 16 gauge finish nailer. Okay, wanderers. 
this trim ring right here that they give you with the window has to be pre-drilled, okay? Because these screws that unfortunately did not come with the trim rings that I bought for this one. This one came without trim rings because I ordered it off Amazon. Just be aware that it says with or without trim rings. I ordered one set, this set over here that I bought came with the trim rings, said with trim rings, and I got a screaming deal on this one because it didn't come with the trim rings. So I had to spend another 37 or $5 to get this trim rings. So anyway, the trim rings right here, these black screws go in there and it's a solid track that goes around there. So you have to pre-drill all that. So, you know, I've just got a, uh, I think it's about an eight inch drill bit and I'm just going into the track here and pre-drilling all these like a so so note that if you get these windows well wanderers let me just show you the process we got going on here okay i explained it to you yesterday but i'm going to give you an actual demonstration today so there is that box that i was showing you yesterday and I've got the foam all cut out and the box inserted and installed. And like I said, I cut this strapping here and I shot the box in with some trim nails, okay? And it's in there really solid. So then I take my drill with a drill bit, pilot drill, and I get this, this opening here is cut pretty much what I want for that window. So I'll drill these four holes through here. Okay, three, four. Now remember that that, that window's teardrop shape, so it's, it kind of swoops in right here. So you don't want to drill anything in these corners or you will have some exposed holes in the side of your bus. Then what we do is we take a Sharpie and the trim ring. And we take it outside. Do, do, do. It's a beautiful day here in Indiana. All right, so as you can see, that's the side that would be inside the bus, and this is the back side right here. So I'll take this trim ring and I'll bring it up the ladder and I will index it on these pilot holes. I like a so, okay? Should be the edge of all these holes right here. There's an edge there and an edge there and an edge there and an edge there. And then I'll scribe that window in. I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, so I've got a rough scribe around here for where that window goes. And then I'll put a cutoff wheel on my grinder and I just cut that out. So I will do that now and then I'll come back and show you the hole and hopefully it fits. There's my tool. There's the piece that came out. And there's the hole. Hey wanderers. Now you just want to come back inside, get your window, check to see if it fits, okay? Slide it in there on the bottom. And then you pull in on it. You check the reveal. And as you can see, I'm hitting right there. And I'm also hitting right there. So I have to do just a little more fine tuning on this baby. And what I do with that is I have my grinder, again, with a, uh, a sanding wheel on it. And that, that really takes a lot of material off. So I can creep up on it and get it just right with that. So that's what I'm gonna Okay, do. Wanderers, our window fits and it's in there. So now you take your trim ring and of course I'm gonna have to move my, my brace, but 
you stick that baby right in there and you screw it on in and it sucks it in tight. Now these windows said they didn't need any more sealant on the outside. They have a gasket on them. I'm a little skeptical of that, but we'll see. I'm gonna try it without and wait for the first couple rains and see how it works. If it doesn't, I'll take it off and I'll put some like butyl tape on there. So there it is. Stay tuned.